What's cracking guys, Omar Esau here. Got a phenomenal video today on big bench press tips. We're joined with two of the strongest Canadian powerlifters of all time, Jay Nera, Jeremy Hamilton. They're insanely strong. Both of them have benched over 500 pounds. And so we're gonna be doing a video on tips that have helped them and tips they feel that can help you. First, we're gonna have Jeremy present what he feels is very important and then we're gonna have Jay. Of course, when it comes to the bench press, there's different types of techniques, so they each have something different to say. So I thought it'd be cool to have both of them offer insight. The main thing I like to do when I bench is I retract my shoulder blades and uh, I like to think of it as wedging my shoulders into their sockets. So keeping them tight and close and not letting them come out of their position. So I do that by driving myself into the bench, using the bar to pull, and my feet to drive me into it. Yeah, I think a lot of people think that they need to be up high on their traps, and I think that's a bad and unsafe position. So I drive my shoulders down and back, not up and shrugged, but down and back, and driven right into the sockets and my back into the bench so they don't come out. Yeah, staying tight, one solid piece. If you're loose anywhere, um, that's gonna show up, you're gonna have a power leak and something's gonna move and your bar is not gonna move smoothly. So you need to be tight, wedged in, strong, everything stable, shoulders retracted, pulled in to their sockets and one solid movement every single time. So when I get a new lifter, or not even necessarily a new lifter, but what I see a lot of lifters doing is they kind of just get on the bench and they just try to jump into position. For me, to make sure we get tight, you know, we just heard Jeremy talking about getting really tight in the upper back. I like to tell people to do everything one at a time, like a transformer, just everything shifting one at a time, getting into the right positions. So when I'm setting up, first thing I like to do is I get up, I get up on the bench, and now I drive my shoulders down and back, get them wedged, just like Jeremy was talking about. Make sure they're locked into place. I just like thinking of locking things into place. And then I put one foot down at a time, and now I'm all locked up. Now the big thing that I like to do that I've, that I've noticed makes a lot of changes for me is before I unrack it and I take my deep breath, I lift my ass off, I drive through my heels, lift my ass, and then I put it back down on the bench. This makes sure I'm getting maximal leg drive without my ass coming off because I just put my ass back on the bench and now I, everything's driving up and I have a nice, nice position. I can feel tight everywhere. Um, when I lift up and I'm pushing my butt down, I put my butt down as close to my shoulders as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm actually driving my body into my shoulders. So I'm forcing that wedge a little bit more. And I've noticed that this has helped a lot in keeping tight in the bench, especially with those heavy reps. Well guys, that's the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. Boys, thanks for being on. Jeremy, where can people find you? Uh, Jeremy Hamilton's wife on Instagram. Okay, what about you, Jay? Jane Easy 2100 on Instagram. Check out my club, Dynamo Barbell and CrossFit O Town. Perfect. And we'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace. Pizza. If anybody lives in the Tampa area, I'm going to be down there on December 5th for a, a seminar at Raw Unity Barbell Club. You guys should check it out. It's a new facility run by Eric Talmont. Eric Talmont's like a badass lifter. He's pulled uh, like 650 at 148. And uh, he's conducting a seminar, so him and like four other stud lifters and myself will be there December 5th. Sign up in the email and uh, come say hello. We'll drink a beer or whatever, chat, and uh, make friends. <laughs>